so today, I uh, fed all the constructors. And most all of them ate? 95% of them ate, and no accidents. You know, it's, it's really wild, and, and a lot of people have, have followed our, our careers. I mean, especially since you, I mean, you've been here now over three years, and a lot of people are like, how in the world does this woman come from you know, suits and high heels to running 750 employees, and now she's feeding snakes? I mean, what is it about that? Well, I can tell you, it was not easy. You know, it took a while to fall in love with this because, you know, I thought this was kind of silly and I didn't like reptiles at all, but, you know, I, I fell in love with you first and then I genuinely fell in love with all these reptiles. And I think, on the same page with me with alligators, I think your passion in this is educating people. It is. I fell in love with Mr. Cuddles first. You gave me that opportunity to pick that first alligator. Yeah, you had to be 11 and a half foot. I know, you thought it was going to be like this, and I was going to raise it like a puppy. Right. But I, I did. I, I chose an 11 and a half foot alligator. So how do you go from the alligators to snakes? Well, what I did realize was, first off, I'm a lot smaller than you. What a does lot that smaller than her. What does that mean? What does that mean? That means your muscles... I, I don't have your muscles, so I had to do something that I could use my brain and be able to finesse. I understand. And so, the more I educated myself on snakes and got over the fear, getting over the fear was the hardest part. I agree. Being able to look at things and, and, and educate myself made me get over that fear and then want to educate. Well, and, and you absolutely have done that, no doubt. All the shows we go to, all the people that come here, I mean, you've literally touched thousands upon thousands of people. And now when they see a snake in the yard, they're able to identify that because of you and not just kill it because they wanted to kill a snake. And and so that, that's gotta make you feel good. Makes me feel real good. Education is what you've always preached to me. It's not about going out and being a showboat. It's educating people on the American alligator all these snakes, whether they're venomous or not venomous, and all the reptiles that we rehome because people just throw them to the curb. They do, and I, and I think that once people learn that if you have a king snake in your yard, you probably don't have any venomous snakes. That's right. The king snake is a good snake. Okay, so once again, what we're going to go to in just a minute is I've got a lot of questions here that our, some of our viewers have written in, and they want to know, and we'll get to that. Mm -hmm. 